I'm Sylvia Earle. I'm an oceanographer, an explorer, explorer in residence at the National Geographic Society. I've been diving for more than 50 years, thousands of hours all over the world with an opportunity to see the nature of life and how it has changed over time. I began diving in the Caribbean. When I first began diving, spending my childhood years on the west coast of Florida, living underwater for a couple of weeks in the U.S. Virgin Islands, when there were great stands of Elkhorn and Staghorn Carl in 1970, all over the area. We had to thread our way through these forests of coral that are now mostly gone. President Lobo, I really thank you for what you're doing here in Honduras. You must be doing something right because here there are plenty of reasons for hope. Cordilla Bank, not far from where I'm sitting, right here, is one of the best places I have seen, even counting 50 years ago. An amazing stand, acres of staghorn coral. It is essentially gone from most of the Caribbean. Here, it remains as a treasure. It's a buffer against storms right offshore. It's a haven for little fish, like a nursery area where they can get down in the cracks and crevices and have some hope of restoring what has been lost, not just in the Caribbean, but all over the world. There is bad news for fish, like 90% of the groupers, the snappers, the swordfish, the marlin, oh, the tunas, and the sharks. They're, they're really gone around the world. We have a chance, all this since I was a child, the speed of, of our ability to take from the ocean is not being matched by the ocean's ability to replenish what we extract. But here there's signs and reasons for hope. I really love the term hope spot, a concept that really suggests that places that are protected are cause for hope. Some places that are pristine, in good shape, like some areas around the Swan Islands. Cordelia Bank is in pretty good shape. Not many big fish, but the, the coral itself is amazingly healthy. Hope spot, really good reason to be encouraged that if this is protected, it can serve as a source of recovery for areas where it's gone. If this goes, you lose hope because where else do you find stands like this? This is unique as far as I know. Other places I regard as hope spots, even if they aren't in such great shape. And I have to say, much as I was encouraged by parts of what we saw in Swan Islands, it is degraded. Most of the fish, I guess, have been taken because we didn't see much in the way of large fish. A few sharks, a couple of Goliath grouper, somebody saw a Nassau grouper. But it wasn't just alive the way a good, healthy system should be. But the good news is, a place like Swan Islands, if really protected, given the basic ingredients, can recover. Plenty of reason for hope. I hope that you'll use your power to extend protection to the assets that your country has, has in abundance, but they're also vulnerable to the many pressures that are now coming in from all sides. To the extent that you can really expand those areas that are protected and really protected, where even fish are safe, a tiny fraction of 1% of the ocean is safe for the fish who are so important, not just for humans to extract to eat, but they're critical to the health of the ocean itself. They're part of our life support system. Now that we know, we can take action that can result in systems that will endure and serve as an insurance policy for us. I salute you and I thank you. You personally, your country is cause for hope.